The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the 21st chapter, beginning with the first verse. Glory Glory to you, Lord. When some were speaking about the temples, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, he said, As for these things that you see, the days will come when not one stone will be left upon another. All will be thrown down. They asked him, Teacher, when will this be? And what will be the signs that this is about to take place? And he said, Beware that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name and say, I am he, and the time is near. Do not go after them. When you hear of wars and and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place first. But the end will not follow immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places famine and plagues. And there will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. But before all this occurs, they will arrest you and persecute you. They will hand you over to synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought, whoops, you will be brought because before kings and governors, because of my name. This will give you an opportunity to testify. So make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance, for I will give you words and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, by relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your souls. This is the gospel of the Lord. Great. Sisters and brothers in Christ, grace and peace to you from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is our thanksgiving. Amen. What do you think about when you hear the word thanksgiving? Do you think about family and friends and food? Or maybe sports and celebrating and then sleeping from all the turkey you ate? But what about a song or an expression? What if I were to tell you that the thanksgiving we all know and love goes well beyond the holiday. And that thanksgiving is actually a way of life and a gift from God. Right now I'd like to share with you a song that is sung by a woman who led a life of thanksgiving. Her name is Mary, the mother of Jesus. And Mary sings, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. According to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham, and to his descendants forever. But before we talk about the thanksgiving of Mary, let's talk about the word thanksgiving itself. For the word thanksgiving is a very unique word and shows us the relationship between God and our own thanksgiving. Now, of the three dictionaries that I looked in, along with my study Bible, 
Aside from the holiday, the word Thanksgiving only has one definition. And of all the variations of that one definition, all the definitions directly attribute the word thanksgiving to God. God and thanksgiving go together. And God helps us to live lives of thanksgiving. Another way in which God and thanksgiving go together is that just like there is only one God, there is only one thanksgiving. That is to say that thanksgiving has no synonym. There is no other word for the word thanksgiving. And so just like God is entirely unique, so too is thanksgiving. And lastly, thanksgiving and God go together because thanksgiving in Greek is Eucharist. Thanksgiving is about what Christ first did and still does for you. Thanksgiving is a joyful process and response to the body and blood that is given and shed for you. And so in communion, the Eucharist, we receive what we are, the body of Christ, in whom there is thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for us and thanksgiving for our neighbors who are hungry for this heavenly food and who feel lowly and need to be lifted up by the body of Christ as Mary was. And so now we see why Mary was singing a song and living a life of thanksgiving, for she had been given the living God. And so she was lifting up Jesus Christ and her neighbors through her song and through her life of thanksgiving. Mary magnifies the Lord for the life that she has been given, living a life of thanksgiving. And in so doing, Mary shows us how thanksgiving is a process, expressing before God all the things that God has already done for us. A process and a way of life that always starts first with God. And so in all the ways that Mary is blessed, it is only because God is her Savior first. And because God looked on her with favor and did great things for her according to his promise. A promise that came before Mary or anyone did anything for God. A promise that God would be our God and we would be his people. A promise of life and love and forgiveness that we all receive in communion. God truly has lifted up the lowly and filled the hungry with good things, giving us great reason to rejoice and live lives of thanksgiving. But... As the definition of thanksgiving shows us, this thanksgiving that lifts up the lowly and fills the hungry with what they need in Jesus Christ can only come from God's people, the church. For only God's people, the church, confess that Jesus is the Christ and share the gospel message that is, the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. And no other group of people or organization will empower their neighbors through word and sacrament. No other group of people or organization will say that this body, whether bread or the church, is given for you. 
and no other group of people or organization will live lives of thanksgiving, rejoicing in Christ their Savior. And so I say to you, what better way to magnify the Lord and live a life of thanksgiving than by building up God's church? And what better way to build up God's church and share this gospel message than by giving what God has already given you? Your money, your time, and your talents. And so, just like Thanksgiving is not simply about the buying and eating of food, but is rather about the faithful caring and sharing of one's recipes and resources and relationships, so too is financial giving and all giving here at Trinity Lutheran about the faithful caring and sharing and outreach with the gospel message. And so, as we share this gospel message with our money and our time and our talents and ourselves, we, like Mary, begin to realize just how much we have. And so we respond to God in thanksgiving as we are filled with joy. And so, with the spirit of financial stewardship in mind, I say this. This sharing and caring and outreach with the gospel message can only come from God's people, the church. And only God's people, the church, can afford to share this gospel message because no one else will. And like a great Thanksgiving meal, this sharing and caring and outreach with the gospel message takes money. But financial giving or any giving that we do must always come from a place of joy and thanksgiving. Like Mary, who is so moved by what God has done for her that she cannot help but cry out and give back to God what God has already given her. We, too, have been given a great gift, the greatest of gifts in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who gives us life and love and laughter, happiness and hope, friendship and forgiveness, and yes, even our finances. And dear sisters and brothers, these gifts are so great that no one could ever put a price on them. And since we have been given such great gifts, we live lives of and respond to God in thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus, for all that we are thankful for. For without you, there would be no thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus, for being our great thanksgiving, giving us eternal life, an eternal treasure. And thank you, Jesus, for the gift of thanksgiving which inspires us to give, magnifying your holy name and helping us to realize just how much we truly have. Amen.